Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So this channel, Everyday Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts involved in data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I'm going to solve this question on lead code regarding team scores in football tournament and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is medium and this question has been asked in Wayfair interviews over the past couple of years. Okay, let's jump right in. We are given a table called teams with two different columns, team ID and team name. Team ID being the primary key of this table, each row of this table represents represents a single football team okay we are also given a second table called matches with five different columns which represents match id host team guest name host goals and guest goals match id being the primary key of this table each row is a record of a finished match between two different teams team host name and guest team are represented by their ids in the teams table okay and they scored host goals and guest goals goals respectively okay so basically this table is like in the in the in the following match this was the host team this was the guest team and host team scored these many goals and guest team scored these many goals now what we need to do is we need to compute the scores of all teams after all matches and the points are dis distributed as follows if you win a match, then you get three points. That is more goals than the opponent team. If you draw a match, then you get one point. So score the same number of goals as your opponent. If you lose a match, you don't get any point, right? Zero points. You score lesser than your opponent. We are asked to write a SQL query that selects the team ID, team name and number of points of each team in the tournament after all described matches. The results should be ordered by number of points in decreasing order and if there is a tie then in by team ID in increasing order. Let's go through this example. So here we have five different teams, right? Litcode FC, New York FC, Atlanta, Chicago, Toronto, right? And these are the different matches. So basically five different matches. And after this, we need to calculate for each of this team, how much points do they have and then arrange it by in the decreasing manner by the uh, number of points and if there is a tie then by team id so let's see let's take one example right so for team id equal to 10 right so lead code fc so for 10 if you see a host team here guest team here and host team here right so basically 10 was so lead code fc is part of three matches right so in this match right say so they scored host since this was a host team and the host scored more than guest so they received three points here here it was a guest team and they both of host and guest scored same number of goals so it was a tie so they received one point here so three plus one four and here again host team and host team scored more so four plus three seven so ten or basically the uh, team id 10 that is lead code fc would have scored seven points similarly let's take for team id equal to 20 so 20 guest team lost here so zero points then here they scored uh, they were host team and they scored more than their opponent so three points here nothing else so 10 scored in total seven points 20 scored th three points right so if you see you have that and since there is an a tie between these two right new york fc and toronto fc because they scored same number of points so then we arrange in increasing order by team id okay so this question is very simple what we need to do is first from this teams table we can join this two information because we need the team id and team name and then based on the criteria that has been given in the question like you know when you score more you get three points when you score equal to you get one point and you, if you score less you score zero points then based on this we can you know try to get that answer okay so what we can do is we can join these two information right so let me just drag it here okay so from this table called teams alias as t let's left join the matches table alias as m on t dot team id in right why what what i'm trying to do here right let me just complete this and then i will explain so n m dot host team m dot guest team right so basically what this will do it will say okay 
कर्सर गोज टू हेयर टीम आई डी इज इक्वल टू टेन इट गोज ओके सो आई से ऑन टीम आई डी इज इन आईदर द होस्ट टीम और द गेस्ट टीम राइट सो इट से इज ओके फॉर दिस वन लेट मी जस्ट अगेन एक्सटेंड दिस सो फॉर दिस दिस मैच वन ओके यू हैव अ होस्ट टीम सो देर इज अ मैच सो इट विल इंक्लूड दैट अगेन इट विल गो टू द कर्सर गोज टू हेयर इट से ओके नॉट इन होस्ट टीम बट इन गेस्ट टीम सो अगेन इट इज अ मैच सिमिलरली फॉर दिस राइट सो बेसिकली वॉट आई एम ट्राइंग टू सी दैट फॉर ऑल दीज टीम्स इन द टीम स्टेबल वॉट ऑल मैच इज दे वर पार्ट ऑफ राइट बिकॉज If they are part of a match, then I, they can either score three points, they can score one points, or they can score zero points, right? For teams, for matches that a team is not part of, nothing happens, right? So it's automatically zero in that case. So that is what I'm trying to do. So from this team table, I'm trying to see which all matches these teams were part of separately, right? Similarly for twenty, right? So for twenty, it will say, okay, twenty was also a part of match ID. So so one match and then two matches. So twenty will be having two rows. So that is what I mean by that. Okay. Once we have this, then what we need to do is, we need to see, okay, for each of the teams, we need to calculate the total scores, right? So what we can do is from this. So after this, right? So after this joining, what we can do is we can group. by the team id right for each team we need to calculate the scores right and since we also need the name of the team so we can just go ahead and write t dot team name as well like right? it does not matter uh, what you can do is you can just group by team id and then calculate all the scores and then perform a join on this table to get the name but why go the long right if you you know can do this here only so once we have this we return so since in our output we need the team id as well as the team name just return these right team id and t dot team name now comes the meaty part of it right how do we calculate the scores okay so very simple logic you don't need to complex like what is the simple logic here if you are a host team right if you are a host team and you your and number of host goals is greater than the guest goals you scored 3 points if you are a guest team and number of guest goals is greater than host goals then you again score a 3 point right if you are a host team and host goals is equal to guest goals then you score 1 point if you are a guest team and you and host goals is equal to guest goals you score 1 point in all other conditions you are going to score zero because why what all other conditions remain you are a host team but host goals is less than guest goals so you score zero because you lost if you are a guest team and host goals are more than guest goals again you lost and you score zero like right? so these are the different uh, the remaining conditions right so let's start where Three and one points you can score, and otherwise we can write else zero, right? So since the, we have different cases here, so what we need to do is case when, right? Case when you are so t dot team id, right, is equal to m dot host team, right? so basically what i am doing is so after performing this join so it will be having okay so 10 and then it will have like for example 10 it will have three different rows right so for match id 1 2 and 3 case when team id is equal to host team and m dot host goals is greater than m dot guest goals then you won right so you are going to score how much points three points right so similarly when you are a guest team and your guest guest goals is more than host goals then you again score three points so like let me go ahead and write all this so yeah so here again what i am doing is when team id you are a guest team and guest goals is greater than host goals then you again score three points when you are a host team and host goals is equal to guest goals then you score one point when you are a guest team and host goals is equal to guest goals then again you score one point else in all other conditions you score zero because your team loses right and since we started a case when statements we end this and now once we calculate all these points what we need to do is we need to basically sum this right so we write sum this entire thing and in the output we need to have this as number of points so we write as 
number of points right and now what we need to do is we need to order this by number points in decreasing manner so we write order by number of points in decreasing manner and then if not if there is a tie then there by team id in ascending manner right okay so this looks good let me go ahead and run this to see what happens okay so this is accepted our output is same as expected output let me go ahead and submit it to see if it passes all the test cases so yeah, this passes all the test cases and this is how we do it again kind of a medium difficulty but actually if you follow the logic it is very simple question all we had to do was merge this information right and remember how we use this we used on team id in because why we need to see that for each of the teams which all matches they are involved in and then we grouped by the team id and team name and then use this case when statements to calculate when these teams are going to get three points when they are going to get one point and all other cases since they are going to lose you are going to get zero points and then we calculated the sum ELS this as number of points and then order by whatever the question asked let me know if you know a better way or a more efficient way of solving this question let the solution be in the comment section below and until then i will see you guys in the next video